This year, state lawmakers in New Mexico passed and Governor Bill Richardson signed the toughest concussion sports injury regulations in the nation. All high school and junior high athletes will compete under a new set of rules. However, it's pretty likely that football players will be affected the most by the new regulations. Mayfield senior running back Brandon Betancourt and the rest of his teammates practice hard early in the morning. Their goal is to win a state championship this year. Betancourt, like many football players, has experienced a head injury playing the sport in the past. Last year in the playoffs against El Dorado, I got hit pretty hard. and yeah, I felt like that. <laughs> Did you see stars? No, I, like, I just saw white at first, and then after that I went away. I just had a pretty bad headache. How long did that headache last? Uh, just to like the end of the game, and then like a little bit after, like after the game. Betancourt's head coach, Michael Bradley, also suffered a head injury when he was a player. I think it was eighth grade, the only concussion that I had, and, and uh, nobody knew I had it. I didn't know I had it. I, I was hit, I was dizzy, I had a headache. Uh, I was out of it completely for a while, and I went back in the huddle and I kept on playing. Ohio State University research shows each year about 136,000 high school athletes suffer concussions. To make sure young athletes don't risk further serious injury after suffering a brain injury, seven states have passed high school and junior high concussion laws. The law New Mexico passed is the toughest. Here, if an athlete shows signs of a brain injury, they must stop participating in the game or practice. Once they have been removed, they must wait a minimum of one week before participating in the sport again. Well, I, I, I feel extremely comfortable with it and, and always have. Uh, concussions are a, are a big deal. Says Bradley. According to recent studies, he's right. A 2007 study conducted by the University of North Carolina found retired NFL players who sustained at least three concussions were three times more likely to have depression than players that did not sustain a concussion. Also, in 2009, a study commissioned by the NFL reported retired pro players were 19 times more likely to have Alzheimer's or a similar memory-related disease than the national population of men ages 30 through 49. Mayfield senior lineman Andy Zopian says the studies aren't enough to stop him from putting the pads on. Yeah, it kind of scares me, but I love the game, so I just keep going. Last year, Mayfield lost to their arch rivals Las Cruces High School 23 to 22. This year, they want revenge. And when seniors Andy Zopian and Brandon Bentoncourt were asked if they would hide a head injury the week leading up to the game so they wouldn't be held out, they both said yes. You know, just as my senior year, I'd be afraid to say something. Uh, I'd probably keep it quiet and see how I feel. If it gets worse, I'll probably tell, tell somebody, but if I think I could play, I'll probably, I probably won't tell anybody. For KRWG, I'm Jared Anderson.